Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to talk about the most important transactions for translations within the SAP system. And honestly I think uh, yeah, um, supporting different languages um, play a, plays a huge role um, for the SAP system because therefore in different languages the SAP system, so SAP ERP and SAP s can be used by multiple people. And uh, for this here, we can see um, basically the area menu, or one very important area menu for translations. And it's the dictionary um, area menu. So it's just simply type in dictionary within the uh, uh, command field within a start menu, and then hit the enter key. And basically then you can see the, yeah, the subterm area menu for translations. And for example, if you would like to call one, then you can simply click on this. So here we are in the subterm transaction and here in the S term transaction. And those are two very important transactions because basically, um, yeah, with the sub term or the S term, you can just simply um, yeah, search for one term within the SAP system and see, for example, what is the translation. So, for example, if we would like to um, search for the translation for the company code. So, for example, I switch this from English to German and I would like to know what is company code in uh, German. Then you can click on find and then within here, based on different yeah, um, uh, data elements uh, and, and so on, you can see that company code in German uh, is uh, Buchungskreis. And uh, this could be really useful if you would like to get the official um, uh, technical term of uh, a, a SAP technical term. And therefore, yeah, we have uh, more very important transactions. So, for example, the SE63. Um, this is a very important uh, transaction regarding translations in general because here uh, you open up the translation editor. Uh, then we have the SPRO, of course. So within here um, you can see uh, different uh, customizing settings. And for example, under additional information and technical data, and then language dependence, you can see um, yeah, what kind of customizing entries are uh, language dependent. Then we have the transaction SMLT. Um, of course, within this transaction, you can import new uh, language packages, really, really important. Then we have the SLLS transaction. This is yeah, basically one transaction code to get uh, the translation statistics. Then we have the SLPP to yeah, get a proposal pool of different uh, translations. Then we have the SLXT transaction, uh, basically here to uh, transport languages. Then we have the extended version, so the SMLT underscore EX, to uh, also uh, be able to transport uh, translations. And yeah, then we have uh, the SQ07 transaction to uh, transport SAP query objects for language comparisons and to transport and to yeah to maintain all those transports you can also open the app the se01 transaction to open up the transport organizer so yeah basically i think i rushed through those transactions but i simply would like to give you an overview of the very most important transactions regarding translations if you would like to get more details on one simple or one um, individual transaction please put them in the comment section if you like this video please uh, hit the like button and if you have any questions left and yeah, do not want to, to miss great upcoming videos in the future. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.